YouTube, it is me, Ultor99, and today I got a special video for y'all, a how to make your city look better in Minecraft Bedrock Edition. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started. So, uh, I've been building this city for quite a while now, and it's been probably four years, maybe five. It's been through a lot, and a lot of changes, and we all learn through those changes, of course. So. I'm here to tell you guys, well, pretty much how you could uh, improve your city. I released a video back a while, so it's time for an update. So let's go ahead and get started. Right down here I have Times Square, and you know, Times Square in real life, it's not clean. <laughs> I mean, it is dirty, so, at New York in general, really. So let's go ahead and... Uh, come here now you can see we have a little bit of stuff scattered around that's supposed to be trash newspapers stuff like that now before um, when I before I did this texture pack um, it was just you know regular carpet but I added a uh, newspaper uh, block I don't have it with me right now oh wait here we are it's uh, under the railroads oh uh, railroads so you can see now, you could have these scattered around, but yeah, uh, just a little bit of trash here and there I to kind of give it a little bit of immersion. Now, uh, it's not everything's clean in real life. You're always going to have alleys and stuff like that. So, moving on to alleys, we have certain alleyways here and there. Now, here, for example, um, we went ahead and put some vents vents with a little bit of smoke coming out. Now I use cobwebs, but um, you can use whatever. A little bit of smoke coming out, a little bit of a uh, fog, I guess you could say. Um, just having your alleys kind of dressed up. Now I didn't really do this so much, but you could uh, go ahead and just do uh, little things like that, you know, a little bit of dirtiness. And while we're here in the alley, you could see these bricks here. Now these aren't uh, matched. If we were to have it all flat, it wouldn't go too well. Now, it's it's just gonna look very plain, I guess you could say. And once you throw in a little bit of like jaggedness to it, you know, just here and there, like random blocks here and there, it's gonna look way better. And you could even do this with any block, really. Um, you could do it with, uh, let's say, cobblestone, right? Just throw in a little bit of cobblestone there. Whoops. And there you go, like, holy cow, it's already looking better. Just to give it a little bit of, um, I guess, depth, you know. So that way it's not too flat. Um, of course I have this texture pack on, but you could do this with really the vanilla texture pack too. Use uh, cracked stone bricks or something like that. Give it a little bit of um, weird, I guess, like uh, a depth, you know, so that's pretty cool. Now we're going to go ahead and move on. So, you see, we have a lot of alleyways, and I love doing them because you could you could do very plain, like this one right here. You really don't need windows for an alleyway. You don't. Um, like this building right here doesn't have that much on the side, and it's because you're not going to be looking out really. Now this one I know this one's made out of glass, but that's the style of the building. However, this one right here, more tightly packed right in between this little slot so you don't really need to have windows everywhere because then you're gonna be going overboard too because then it's just gonna look too much if you keep on going all the way down maybe a little bit here and there but it doesn't have to be as detailed as seen right here uh, maybe you could do um, a little bit of the brick combination too uh, if you really want to add that extra thing but you really don't have to do too much you know there's really um anything you could do but uh yeah so those are the alleyway topics i there's a million different things you could do with alleyways um like here we have you know some trash cans you know easy you could build easy trash cans just get some concrete like that like if you're going to build a staircase going up but instead just get staircases and some trap doors and there you go you got a trash can now uh there's some trash cans there 
see what I was doing here and especially you want to add a lot of this moss around the trash cans because it's dirty especially here and you could even do like uh, especially these are prominent like in under highways and stuff like that but if you want to go ahead and do let's see um, a campfire and let's go ahead and get no, let's just get this for example um, you always see these barrels that have some fire in it you could throw it really wherever in alleyways, but I would save those for under highways. Now, unfortunately, I don't have a highway built, so I can't show you that. But maybe later, we'll go ahead and do a tutorial or something like that. So, coming around here, um, you know, you don't want your buildings to be plain, like, uh, too plain, but not too over the top. So, how do you get around doing that? It's kind of confusing, right? Like, you don't want it to be too crazy too many windows but yet look at all these windows right well in corner buildings especially um or i guess one plot buildings right here you want to get at least the most out of it on every corner now this one right here is the main corner as you can see it has that protruding um piece of skyscraper coming out a little bit just more you can see it when i get up top here you can see it kind of comes out a bit um, in like an arrow shape almost, like it's pointing that way. So you want to capture at least a good amount. Now this one right here, if you're going to be doing this, make sure also that you have a good view. I mean, I know it's, <laughs> even if you're barely building a, a skyscraper, I mean your city or whatever, uh, you got to have a view set, right? So like right here this one this one has an amazing view you got a view of the eastern side right there viewing like um you know like the cia building and all that and then right here you got a view of the baseball field and he, it looks nice all around these are the more like the ones with the less windows have uh, the, the views all right i mean that's just a view of one building and a few trees over there and this one is just a view of well, that one that one's a good view you got a bit bunch of buildings one two three four five six seven eight eight in view so make sure you have a good view now here you can see look at all those all that that i didn't put a window on now that is because of two things one there's neighboring buildings so you never want to put buildings on their own plot that's what i did in a mistake here when building this city i started building every building with um, each having one giant plot one giant plot uh, one giant plot you know each one has its own plot don't do that um, you could do that for I guess special buildings but never do it for every building so this one has a neighboring building there's it's one giant plot for several buildings actually I'll show you right now so there's that building this building right next to it and it looks nice see it, just because it's right on it doesn't mean that you have to make it look bad you could even disguise it with a little um like a sign so that way it doesn't look too um bland also you don't always have to do that but it will look just great without the sign but as you can see right when we finished the um this building right here we continued with windows again but you don't always have to do windows right here this side doesn't have a good view and here's why if we were to put windows here this is what you would see right there not the best you're gonna see a ceiling of this building and a lot of it this one has a pass because well it's smaller look at it. nothing much it's a very small building doesn't matter here that's a different story so uh yeah now you can see oh, i was talking about one giant plot now we have a little uh dead end here road but you don't really need to have uh, well that's an actually you know you don't really need to have roads that go all the way either so this road used to go straight ahead but then i built this building and it made a dead end now this one needs to be fixed a bit maybe look maybe uh look more like a roundabout you could do but it looks just nice as well like you're you have a little bit of everything now coming on over here you could see um, we have this building right here 
Now this one I also built on one plot, but uh, you can see it's not neighboring. I mean, it's not up against it. So it's it's not bad. It's pretty good. Um, I kind of built like a little kind of alleyway, but this one's a bit more, um, how do you say it? Like a, like a patio almost, because this one is a hotel and this one, well, this is the stock market for our city. So it, you ki I kind of wanted to have it open here because it's like a lot of public access. You know, it's not too dark and scary, but you know, just good enough. So I threw some lamps there again. You know, the alleys, they all don't have to look bad, but this one is just like a public area, so it's pretty good. And I threw some trees here in the front. That's also what you're going to be wanting to add in your city. A lot of greenery, because um, without it, I mean, the city is just going to look very gray, <laughs> very gray. Um, so you can see, threw some pl uh, potting, give it a little lift up here and boom it looks 20 times better if i were to just extend this building all the way to the corner it would have just looked kind of bland you know but now that it has a little bit of a lift and some greenery it looks way better than it would have looked like that now we go on to parks now parks are kind of hard i'm not the best at them but i'm still going to give you guys a little bit of a how to so I kind of didn't do this park very well. Um, this was just a tiny, like a very tiny mimic, very tiny. I know it's not even worth saying that, but of uh, Central Park in New York. Now it's, it still has that little, you know, vibe, very nice. You know, you got your lamps, your greenery, um, a nice view of all your surrounding buildings. That's what you want in a park. You never want to have like, for instance, that back part of the building, you don't want it to face the park because it's not going to look good. So, I would say try putting a fence around your park. Now, this one, it's super small, so I didn't put a fence. Maybe in the future I will. I had to do a lot of editing around this area because this road actually did not exist when I was creating this park. So, you know, try to add a little bit of fences. You know, you could make a nice fence. And this is the easiest fence design you could do, actually. Let me go ahead and show you here. Let me get some cobblestone and iron bars and easily, you know, right before your entrances, right? You could have it continuing on that way. Just do one, two, one, two, and then like that. Kind of like a staircase going up and down again, over and over and like that. You could do that, or if you don't like how boxy it looks, you could do just something like this, almost. I'm not too a big fan of that, but you could do that. It doesn't look, uh, you could, it doesn't look too terrible, you know, it's kind of like, like that too, it looks nice. Um, that's probably the simplest, but nicest fence design you could do. Um, of course, if you have space for it. Now the parks they're very green you know you got your trees some vines hanging a uh, little pond just to add some water to it and it makes the whole park look very nice now another thing you're going to want to add in your cities besides all this is um intersections now these are also tricky so and probably the hardest thing to get right, streets in general. Streets are very confusing. Um, so intersections really, uh, you could have like white lines continuing all across. I just did that because that's part of my design, but you could have it going all across and you know, have your street lights. Now make sure, I live in America, so um, when you see lights, you see them on the opposite side. Some people tend to put the lights over here but if you want to be I guess realistic when you're in your car and you look up you don't really see the light right there because then you're going to be straining your neck and cars right here wouldn't be able to see the street light so you always see it at the end of the street um so that's how you would do street lights a lot of people mess that up but it's an easy fix easy fix 
Now, I'm talking about intersections, you don't want a ton of interse uh, intersections like right next to each other. Now, this is a little space, so it's good. And then another one. Now, this one, this one is a uh, two way to one way. Now, how to do that? Now, I have my texture pack, um, and I will putting, uh, be putting an updated download um, in the future for this pack. Um, you could download the beta. It's uh, I'll leave a link to it in my descri in the description. But I have arrows going, you know, to where what direction you want to put it, um, to where they want to go. Because if you have a one way, I mean, you really need to do this if you have the pack or don't. If you're just playing on PS4 edition or whatever, um, just make sure that there's some type of arrows. I know um, you could do an easy one with uh, whoops, not bad. Uh, it's just getting white wool. Just an easy, blocky one. Still looks good. Like that. See? Not that hard. Of course, your streets will be a little bit wider, but it's very easy to do an arrow. Um, to go which way. So, yeah, always have a little bit of depth um, with your streets. Don't have them all two way. That's another mistake I made. So kind of add some one-way streets here and there because it does add uh, the city. It makes it look way nicer too. So it's not always big streets. Um, as you can see, we did some uh, like hol uh, hotel entrance here, kind of a curvature, and then um, two areas here. So yeah, you can see also we have a one-way right this way. And this intersection, this one is complicated. Um, intersections are very tricky. I mean, I'm not a big fan of doing them, but uh, if you get them right, they look nice. Now, another thing you want to do to make your city look nice. We got, um, you know, some little trees there, but uh, buildings, buildings, building, buildings. You want them to kind of pop out. Now, this one, this is kind of a contradiction from my statement of don't have the boring side facing the park. However, um, you, I still added, you know, the windows there. So people who have this room will still see the park. That's an excellent view. Now, this side actually fits better when you're looking at like more of a naturistic park. You can see people are here and they get to see more of the mountain a little bit of suburbs too this is more of like a tropical uh you know vacationing hotel so you you don't really want to see the city here you just want to get a bit of fresh air i guess you could say so this one is perfect for such an occasion however if you still want a uh, nice room to overlook the central park you could always go down here and rent a room like that and look how beautiful that looks you're waking up here in the morning and you see that it's amazing so there's that building i'm gonna go ahead and exit here all right so we got all this stuff down now let's go to the beach side now a lot of cities will have a beach side some won't um now if you're starting on your first city um you could probably always plan that later i wouldn't recommend to do a beach side just right off the bat because then you kind of mess things up but in this case it really doesn't matter because i mean honestly you could do whatever you want so beach sides um you want to have a lot of open space for them uh now this one, I, we kind of cut it short because we added some docks. Um, however, we still see... Let's see. Still see the docks here, but you got a lot of beach. Um, now this one, I really didn't... Um, we haven't fixed it up yet, but I'll show you guys real quick how to add some beach designs. Now, you've seen these everywhere. I'm pretty sure everybody knows how to do this already. But just add some, you know, towels on the floor. Different colors. You know, stick with bright colors. That's usually what towels are. Don't try putting a brown one down because it won't look too nice. 
but stick with the bright colors the pinks the purples blues reds oranges yellows greens lime greens um mix them up a bit you know give them a, a theme like that one could be like a patrick <laughs> from spongebob you know type thing you know it, just give it like a little bit of um color that's how beaches are you know nice and colorful and bright very bright as you can see the sand is bright here <laughs> But that's just because of the texture pack. Now, you could also add umbrellas. I think pretty much everybody knows how to make an umbrella now. But yeah, so coming off here, we have the beach and all that. Now, you wanna have some plazas or, um, what's a good word for them? Like, I guess places where people usually go as a tourist place. Now, right here, we have some beachside um, businesses and hotels apartments and we made a special avenue for this now we're still fixing it on the beach side but um this is called palm avenue now i just kind of shortened it up it's pave <laughs> but palm avenue so we went ahead and um i threw in some stores so people could build and had gave like the palm trees so that way you know palm avenue right uh we kind of did that and it looks very, not too many tall buildings. You don't want too many tall buildings in a nice little public area. Um, you could do that for more of the downtown area for a central type of thing. But like right here, you could see, if you noticed, we have some bridges going up and down. Now this is what's cool about this area is that the walkway actually goes on top of the roof of the malls. And it adds like this like sense of like, like a pedestrian uh, type of walking, pedestrian only zone, you know, no streets. So you could always add these and it looks nice. You could see right here, this is my favorite area to look at. Um, you got nice tables and chairs for your little coffee shop and the little apartments here and there. Of course, they'll have their blinds on, but you know, a little bit of um, ventilation here and there, but not, not too much, you know just to give it a little bit of uh, effect of that city vibe. But you see, they still have, the people up there still have a little bit of their privacy and the people down here have their privacy as well. So it's pretty cool to add stuff like that. Now, speaking about a little bit of city in there, always try to put um, fire escapes. These are probably your best thing that you could add in the city. and. It's so small and they don't even need to work. Now, if you're wanting to have them work, like actually function in a fire escape, then you could always modify the design, but it always adds a little bit of extra depth, especially when they don't even work. Like this one right here, doesn't work. Um, this one actually, does it work? No, it doesn't, it's too small. But it still looks nice. It looks like if it works because, you know, that, that's a fire escape right there. Now you know a lot of people like to have them working and you know you could get up there and that's perfectly fine actually i have one of them right around here uh let me just go ahead and go down to this and here we are you can see this one does work and it still looks nice you know, it adds that extra depth, but still looks nice. And you could see you could go up it all the way up, and it meets the windows on each floor. See? So in case of a fire, if you are playing in a, sur I mean, like in a kind of survival creative world, um, they are able to break them out and leave. Perfectly fine. And they do have the, the little exit right here, so they could once they're coming down boom and right here little door so that way nobody could come up the fire escape they can just leave it that easy now um now that we were back in the alley actually uh, we're going to talk about abandoned buildings now abandoned buildings are very nice to add in the city now it sounds weird, but, you know, a little bit of that, uh, like, historical type 
makes the city look cooler. Now, right here we have an abandoned uh, library. Now, you can see we put some funny signs here, no trespassing, plot on hold, but it's abandoned. <clears throat> now, this one right here, I made it uh, enterable, just in case if people want to explore it while they're in uh, survival. You know, they could enter it some way, just like a secret way, I guess you could say, not directly through the front entrance, but it adds a whole other depth. And things go in here, like, um, maybe like a gang or something, you know, if, if you are doing like a whole um, creative city world, add that extra thing. Now, of course, it doesn't have to be in the library, but um, I just did it just for right, like this instant, but um, instance, but it still adds that extra oomph to it. Now, I believe we are coming near an end here. Now, we talked a lot about uh, intersections, alleyways, stuff like that. Those are just the little things that you could do to make your city look way nicer. Greenery, things like that. Now, oh, and garbage. <laughs> Now, that's pretty much from my experience. Um, I've been building this city again, like I said in the beginning, um, for about four years now, maybe five, I don't know. And we have gone through a lot of changes and this world looked nothing like it did, you know, way back in the day, it didn't look nothing like this. You, you always start small, you know, and uh, that's a lot of mistakes, you know, you make, but once you actually understand how to do things, you won't be making those mistakes anymore. Like right here, perfect uh, thing. This was the first building actually built in the city. And um, we went ahead and actually built it in one plot, you could see, and that's how I based a lot of my buildings. However, this is the first building in the world, so we're gonna keep it like that. But for the other buildings, like this one was actually the second building built, but we went ahead and edited around you know there used to be a street going right there to make it its own plot but then I added a building there and it looks nice this one right here been there for the longest time added a building right next to it and it still looks nice still has that iconic shape and a lot of these buildings here that one just threw it there because it's New York you gotta fit buildings in the smallest place you can right there building right here building McDonald's <laughs> another building alleyway you see that's what you need to do you know just the little things make you know your city amazing so um that'll be all for this video now I'm just gonna go ahead and uh say what's gonna be happening now I I am gonna start uploading uh slowly but surely um our next video we'll go ahead and uh, do some actual tutorials i've been planning on those um me and a friend have a big surprise waiting for you all um to help actually build your cities and terrain especially faster um so yeah if you all like this video i mean let me know down in the comments my gamer tag is ultor99 feel free to add me on uh, Xbox Live. Feel free to message me of any comments. And yeah, thank you all. And have a nice day. Bye bye.